guys, welcome back to my channel, welcome back to a new video. So today I thought I'd sit down and do a hair update video. It has been so long since I've shot one of these. I kind of stopped doing them because I felt like my hair journey kind of like stopped when I started just experiencing so many hair issues. Plus, I wasn't really sure what direction I was going in with, with my hair journey as well. Like, was I gonna be relaxed? Was I gonna be natural? But all in all, I feel like 2022, I just tried so many different hair files. Like I had micro lengths, I had this, I had that. It came to a point where my hair was just fed up with me because I just stopped caring, to be honest. I was just doing whatever I could. It kind of just led me to cutting my hair off. I started wearing a pixie cut and I thought that would like fix the issue of like the breakage and the thinning, but no. The middle of my head kind of like fell out. I was using a bunch of different oils, primarily rosemary oil, which maybe just doesn't agree with my scalp, but I just lost a lot of hair to a point where I probably had 40 strands of hair at the top of my head. 40 hair is not a lot of hair, okay? It was maybe like this much, like scattered throughout the entire crown. And honestly, I was devastated. Um, I decided to then shave my head and go natural. And I started over. All of what I just mentioned though, I wasn't really sharing with you guys because I didn't wanna come on here and say, my hair was falling out and have people comment all sorts of stuff. And like, oh, it's because you keep relaxing. And I just didn't, didn't wanna deal with any of that so I decided to go through it alone and thankfully gratefully I've kind of just um, found products that worked for me I left my hair alone and I was wearing wigs and although I hate wearing wigs I will admit wearing wigs really gave me the opportunity that I needed to just leave my hair alone and let it grow let it repair itself and heal my scalp and I'm very grateful for that era but you guys know I was never really happy wearing wigs I never felt comfortable wearing them I always felt very self-conscious like whenever I was speaking to a person like if their eyes went up here I'd start like feeling like very self-conscious and it would make me very weird when I was out and had to socialize. And I just hate feeling that way, you know what I mean? I hate feeling insecure. So where we are today is I am relaxed, but I am now five months post relaxer. Yeah, when I went natural and it grew out, I did end up getting a relaxer because my hair was just really short. It was very, very hard for me to style it. I decided to relax it just so I could have a little bit more length to work with and it will be more manageable but I'm not gonna keep relaxing my hair I'm now going to grow it out I have about an inch to two inch worth of new growth right now and I recently had a silk press and I had no idea that a silk press could look like this on my hair give me that relaxed smooth look so definitely from now on this is what I'm going to be doing to my hair I think I'm gonna grow it out from here on out um I have been rocking sew-ins since the year started now we're in April and I decided to just give my hair a break so for this month I'm just gonna be rocking my hair out as is and if I feel the need to I will just clip in extensions just for a quick hairstyle. But I'm just gonna show you guys um, just like a quick at home wash routine so you guys can see what my wash days look like because I recently took down my hair, um, blew it out, did that whole thing and my at home results weren't as good and I was like, dang, I think I may need a relaxer. But after getting my hair professionally done, I'm like, no, you do not need one. So all the products shown in this video, I will leave links to them below for you guys to check them out if you're curious. And also, I'm gonna include um, a link to Nutrafol. Those are the supplements that I take for hair growth. They really helped my hair, but obviously read your reviews. And I also use the Vegamore hair drops. Again, do your own research. Um, when it comes to scalp and hair loss and alopecia, whatever that case is, I do think it's best to go to a professional, a dermatologist, have someone look at your scalp because your hair can be falling off for different reasons. I know for mine, my hair was just fed up. Enough. You need to relax. <laughs> so... Um, I knew that my hair was just over me and I don't blame her. Um, but before we move on, let me just do a really quick like hair check or a length check. So this is just my hair right now. My goal right now is definitely to get my bangs as long as the back of my hair. So if this could grow, it's gonna be a while though. My goal is to have this length right here to my jawline, but all my hair that same length. I love the little middle part, sleek little 
I love that moment. And then once it grows, I will like layer it so I have more volume. But that's where we are right now. That's my hair update. And I will update you guys ever so often. And we will obviously see how we are progressing in terms of growth. Honestly, I have no intentions of doing my hair at home myself. It will literally need to be like a case of emergency. Like I don't really intend to, so. Yeah, this is where we are for now. And again, I'll keep you guys updated. I'm getting ready to take out my sew-in and I thought I'd just turn the camera on because I know you guys love my hair videos. And for some of you, that's kind of like how you found me, why you follow me. So I thought I'd just shoot this video for you. But you know what? I think I'm gonna call this like a relaxer update or a hair update. I don't know, but I'm gonna be taking out my sew-in and simply just give my hair a break or a breather and just rock like clip-ins or something. towards um, removing buildup, really. Um, just giving the scalp a little time to itself, you know, its moment. I think I'm gonna go in with the root, the Rootus. It's a Clarify Purifier Pre-Shampoo Scalp Cleanse to Rinse. And I, what I like about it is that it has apple cider vinegar, which I feel like I need to use just to kind of detox my scalp a little bit. the next day I was doing my makeup and my bonnet fell off so I wasn't able to do the reveal but it's not much of one so yeah I also switched up my camera I'm using my G7X now I was filming on the Sony before and I don't know I just didn't love how the content looked on my laptop I'm gonna still use it but just set it to switch so when I decided I was gonna take on my extensions my sew-in I did reach out to Benelens to gift me some clip-ins I did ask them for two sets just because I wasn't really sure how much I was gonna, going to need or, or how long or thin my hair was going to be. So I did ask for two, but I think I can get away with one. This is their light yaki straight clip-ins. I did go with the 1B color just because I haven't dyed my hair jet black in quite some time. So let's get these out and see. I haven't worn these in such a long time, but you guys know I was a better line clip and girl. I wore them all the time. I them, but after I big chopped and all of that stuff, I wasn't able to wear them anymore. But um, okay, so the first clip that I took down is their two clip, um, another two clip. And I believe you get two of these, but I'm not sure. It's been a while. Um, also, we have a three clip here, and I believe this is going to be another three clip. Yep, another three clip and four clip and two like smaller size two clips. So this is what we have. So now let's clip in the extensions. 
I'm hoping to do a sleek ponytail, such a classic. So yeah, let's clip this in. I'll walk you through it. I'm gonna take that two clip, but the shorter one. I'm going to clip this one at the back. This one would be the most appropriate one for the nape of your neck, but feel free to measure and just feel it out, you know? Before you go any further, you just make sure it feels comfortable to you. Doesn't feel like it's pulling, tugging, or anything. Another two clip, we're gonna put that right on top of that first one. The next row, we're gonna go in with a three clip. And I like to use, use the three clip here just because I feel like this part of the head tends to be a little bit um, wide. I would use the two clip there, but I find that I always have a lot of extra hair out, whereas this is gonna give me like a really good coverage. I haven't done this in a while, plus my hair has never been this short when I wore clip-ins, so it's definitely going to be trial and erroring. So for this row, I'm gonna see if I can fit this four clip. Okay, I definitely could fit it, but I just feel like the fit is not exact. So I'm gonna do the two clip on one side, and this is gonna meet me in the middle of my head back here. I'm gonna use the other two clip, and we're gonna do the same thing. Okay, moving on. Still have a lot of hair left to cover. What we're gonna do is I'm gonna just go in with that four clip, and I'm gonna go pretty high up here. My arms are so sore from working out and doing this right now is like not really. And it should lay pretty flat just the same. I died, so sorry, but I'm using my Care Care um, wax stick and you're gonna take a pretty firm bristle brush and you're just going to brush the hair. A reveal of the hair, I tied it down for a little bit. So I know she is laid. <laughs> Um, laid, laid, laid. I did go ahead and trim the ends and, oh my gosh, it's so bright in my bathroom, I'm so sorry. In the morning just gets so much light. Looks pretty good and I can rock with this for a few days. All right guys, so thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Any questions that you might have, feel free to drop them down below and we'll talk in the comments, okay? Talk to you soon, bye.